in New Braunfels, Texas, and this is Insect Expo 2019. So we are educating students about insects and related animals. Well, we have all of the fourth graders from New Braunfels uh, School District, and we also have some Kamal students. So we're expecting over a thousand kids. We have things like insect life cycles, we have food webs, we have insect communication like pheromones, and then we also have some fun stuff like maggot art, build a bee, honey tasting, and roach races. So they are going to be learning all about insects and different kind of scientific principles. We have one activity that is a dichotomous key, and so they're essentially learning how a dichotomous key works, which real scientists use on a regular basis. Behind me, they're doing an ant life cycle wheel. Um, we have insect headbands. They're doing games with insect life cycles for incomplete and complete life cycles. They're making art with soldier fly maggots. They are digging through rotting log material to hold and see different insects and arthropods that live in that ecosystem. They are doing dichotomous keys. They're digging through aquatic insects to pull out and see what things are. Everything they're doing is engaging and hands-on and um, uh, hands-on activity-driven type learning. And so we hope that they'll go home and remember all these things and hopefully do well in their science and their star test when they take that science test. So every activity that they're doing has some teaching objective that that activity or that booth will represent and reach and all of our volunteers have been trained to know what vocabulary to use so they can reiterate that TEKS objective with the kids while they're engaged in that activity at the stations. Um, all of this is all STEM learning. It's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There's math involved in some of these stations. There's some physics involved. There's definitely a lot of natural and life sciences because they're holding and touching and learning and observing about living things. Um, and some engineering with aquatic insects. They're trying to engineer a proper aquatic insect that can stand on top of the water without drowning. So everything is, this is a field trip that's fun, but it's also very, very educational. And we hope that we almost, in a way, trick them into learning something. And over the two days, we will have over 100 different individual volunteers. Most are master gardeners and master naturalists. They come from Como County, Bear County, Atascosa County, Gonzales County, Travis County, Guadalupe County. Comal County hosts and coordinates this event, but we've been able to bring in volunteers from all the surrounding counties to participate in it. We have over a hundred separate individual volunteers that are participating in this program. Most of them are master naturalists and master gardeners. Hi, I'm Tina Kalibic. I'm with County Line Elementary. I teach fourth grade and I have 22 students with me today. So when I bring the students, I know that this for many of them, this is the only time that they'll be up close to so many amazing exhibits. For them, the hands-on, and to be able to leave here and go home and tell their parents about their experience is amazing. And for kiddos who just left what's in your breakfast, it's so eye-opening. And for them to go home and say, Mom, Dad, you're never going to guess what's in my cabinet.